Hello, respected viewers, audiences, ladies and gentlemen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. And good morning from Toronto. This is Inamul Hussain as usual, our weekly webinar series at this time. This is exactly nine o'clock. Due to Ramadan, we changed the timing. I specifically welcome you in this Ramadan. You sacrifice your time to be with us around the globe. Today's topic is specifically very, very important for us, the parents, the students who are willing to study in our school system, NIST and Sikh International School in Toronto. And I will make a comparison between the Canadian curriculum through NIST program. Probably you know that we offer Ontario Secondary School Diploma Certificate after graduation of grade 12. And then the IB program, which is called International Baccalaureate, diploma program so globally ib program is widely used like the other program which is o level a level program in our previous webinar series we made a comparison between ussd and the O level, A level program in our last webinar session. So, similarly, today we will be also trying to make this comparison with IB program because of the lacking of understanding and the marketing strategy. Canadian USSD program is not that much popular among the parents specifically school going students so i will try to make a comparison for those who are interested to put their children as a parent for their study and the student who are really really interested to study in english language how easy and how important this program is through this comparison we will try to make a judgment and it would be leaving to you as an audience so let us start with the definition first ussd is a four year high school diploma program where a student study under the Ministry of Education, Ontario, Canada. On the other hand, IB Diploma Program is a two-year educational program, as you probably know, because it is widely used globally. And the student age group is 16 to 19 years by the international baccalaureate organization known as ib based and it is based in switzerland an organization not governed by the ministry of education switzerland on the other hand the ussd is being controlled by the ministry of education in Ontario. So there is a clear distinction between the government curriculum and a private organization. Then if we go and look at the ranking of the program, this USSD program is globally positioned fourth, which is top 15% of the ranked. And eighth position among 10 countries, top 10 countries, according to the PISA. 
For the Switzerland Ministry of Education program, it is place 8 internationally. On the other hand, there is no ranking for IB program because IB program is not organized, operated by the Ministry of Education Switzerland. So here is also a question related to the ranking. Then curriculum, if we consider the curriculum of the both program, you will see USSD has a 30 credit program plus 40 hours volunteering job. Meaning a student need to show their social responsibility at part of the curriculum. On the other hand, this IB program has only six credit. They do not have really any other opportunity to take more courses. Now, for the higher study, if we consider the entrance exam, let's say in North America, in developed country, university, colleges, while it comes to the admission after grade 12, IELTS is not at all required for the student who has been awarded USSD. But for IB program, many and majority of the university and colleges ask for the English proficiency certificate. So this is a problem issue while it comes to the admission in the higher study. Then if we see the government approval of the program, definitely, as I mentioned, USSD is a government-approved program and IB is not a government-approved program by the government of Switzerland. If we consider the cost for USSD, cost is minimal comparing with the IB program. It is very high cost. Now, if we look at the features skills that are focused for the programs when it comes to USSD. USSD mainly focus the features or key areas such as transformational skill development. That means the education that are being offered by the USSD, it is transformational. You can understand it has a real-world application and innovation, and it has global citizenship education, meaning the global society, because it is a multicultural, multi-demographic society in Canada. So the Canadian education try to make a study that are reasonably acceptable to the multicultural people. So global citizenship education is one of the main focus area for the high school education in Canada. And then differentiated education is another key area for this education system and diverse assessment and individual learning path is another key area when it comes to USSD. In comparison, there are only two key area that covers the IB program. So one is fosters the critical thinking and skill of a student, intellectual, personal, emotional, and social skills. So the cognitive skill development is the main focus for this IB program. Of course, USSD also have this, but not at that extent. It is very deep in IB program. And then students are being prepared for higher study and in life outside of the school. 
So there is no boundary for that. When it comes to the credit, the requirement for USSD, as I try to highlight it during the definition, is 30 credits, 18 compulsory credits, and 12 optional credits. This total 30 credit hours is required to be awarded USSD to a student. On the other hand, there is no SAS credit for IB program. Simply, a student need to pass six courses. Then, when it comes to the community involvement, the USSD program needs 40 hours of community involvement in terms of volunteering services to the community. The IB program need 150 hours, which is quite high. When it comes to the graduation, USSD has a clear guideline where performance and exams are the focus area. The course are being completed by the performance and some other assessment that are needed by the Ministry of Education Canada. On the other hand, IB program does not have such requirements. Simply you appear in the exam and then get the grade. So it is final grade, exam-based assessment and grading system. When it comes to the subject area, there are eight subject that are focus to get the 30 credit hours. For example, arts, business, civics, career and citizenship, health and physical education, history and geography, language and literature, science, math, social science and humanities. And a subject group one, two, three, a student can choose any group towards the specialization. For example, science, commerce, and arts. So a student can have the luxury of wide spectrum of choices towards their specialization. On the other hand, IB program is very, very specific. Six subject student need to pass. There is no opportunity to have choices so that they can have some flexibility. There is no SAS opportunity here in IB programs, very restricted. So those are arts, language and literature, language acquisition, peoples and society, natural science and mathematics. So here also you see the difficulties of IB program comparing with USSD. When it comes to the program assessment, uh, the USSD has the system of continuous assessment, assignment, projects, participation in the class. These are 70% of the evaluation. 30% remains the final evaluation in terms of project assignment or formal exam. It depends on the school and the teachers who is teaching the course. On the other hand, for the IB program, exam is the main assessment criteria, oral interview, essay, then scientific and mathematical investigations, fieldwork projects, and artistic performance along with the final exam. So all these are related to the final exam in a sense you can say. So a student would seriously stress and exam fear they might have in this category. Flexibility when it comes to this scenario, actually USSD is very flexible, okay? With a minimum of 30 courses. Student would have luxury of choices from hundreds of courses in addition to the specialization to or from the group. On the other hand, IB program does not have SAS 
opportunity. It is very rigid curriculum with six subject allowance, right? Where a student must take this six subject to pass the IB. I'm sure you as an audience are now much more clearer which program should be chosen for your children when it comes to the high school program, specifically from grade 9 to 12. However, let me give you some more insight. Let's say USSD is a globally recognized as a leader in differentiated learning, as I mentioned, when it comes to ranking. On the other hand, this IB program is not recognized as a leader in differentiated learning. Then practical application and innovation is not the main focus. Their main focus, as I mentioned, is the critical thinking, the cognitive skill development. So this is a drawback for IB program. And then the OSSD aim what? to develop the student skill in areas such as critical thinking, problem solving, collaboration, and then prepare them for the success of the workplace like civic and cultural study for different demographic or the different racial people who migrate to Canada. So this is an important issue for the stability of the society and the students are being prepared for the workplace because in the workplace different demographic people will be the colleague for the students so they need to understand the culture of different people and that what exactly offered the teaching in the high school program on the other hand, IB program does not have SaaS requirement or SaaS setup because it has a specific area of study. So this is like a snapshot between the USSD and IB program. On the other hand, if we take the advantages for both IB program and USSD, let us see through this conversation, we already understood that the USSD is in most advantageous scenario where, for example, it has widely available, it has, and then it is very cost effective. It has flexibility to choose the different courses. It is differentiating learning is there and then practical education is there as a uh, important ingredient and worldwide it has acceptance and the ranking of the ussd is in the top five fourth place among in the world ranking so those are clear indication of the strength of the ussd program if the student choose to study in this program on the other hand IB program also has definitely some advantages like it has a very global recognition. Since more than 50 years, this program is being run by a Switzerland organization. So the marketing place is very strong and it has a holistic approach, right? Then one of the most strength of this program is it has critical thinking or cognitive skill development program is there. And then when it comes to the university preparation, the IB program take part the responsibility here. On the other hand, for USSD, the university preparation courses starts at grade 11 and 12 when the choose the courses to fulfill their 30 credit hours. So these are the advantages. However, there are some sorts of disadvantages in both program. One of the most disadvantages or limitation of USSD is the program is not really widely known outside 
the Canadian territory because it is a Ministry of Education program. The ministry really, really does not look at the program to spread outside the territory of the country. But these days, organization schools program like us took the initiative with the approval of the ministry who wanted to spread the curriculum globally to attract the global students. And this is an opportunity, for example, the parents and the students who wanted to get their education while they are at home online. So we offer our courses, our program online. You don't need to come to Canada to get admission in person. You can complete the program through us while you are at home. In addition, if the parents and the children are willing to come and join in person environment of the school within Canadian territory, we also offer that for those students. So these days it is an opportunity and it open a door to attract the global students for this program. Because of the wider spectrum of the course, students need to be mentored, students need to be, you know, guided by the school student advisor. Sometimes students become confused what are the courses that they need to take to fulfill the minimum of 30 credit hours. So these are the two main disadvantages. Though if we look at the issue, it, these are not really disadvantages. However, in literature, that is how we found in our research when it comes to the comparison of the, these two programs. IB has a lot of limitation on the other hand. This program is a very lengthy and uh, tedious program. It requires really, really consistent effort and performance throughout the program and the final exam. Only one exam for each course. So this is a issue for a student. Then demanding workload. It's heavy. Students sometimes do not like it because of the serious stress and exam fear for the program. As a result, there are lots of dropout after getting admission in the IB program. And then limited flexibility, as we discussed, it does not have that much flexibility to choice, to choose the courses limited pool of teachers because if you wanted to guide the student if you wanted to see the success of the student teachers are the main key for the program for the student in this case globally ib program teachers are very limited so you do not have luxury to have more teachers to choose and then quality control, like USSD, is controlled by the Ministry of Education. So there is a strict control by the ministry. Inspection is there. Periodical visit is there. Surprise inspection is there. On the other hand, there is no SAS scenario. There is no SAS practice for IB program. As a result, it is highly dependent on the teacher who is offering the course and the student is highly dependent on the teacher's attitude, teacher's ability to teach, teacher's mentality. Then cost is a serious issue. In my discussion, I already tried to highlight that IB program globally is very costly. And if I compare with the USSD, it, it, it seems apparently multiple times costly. And then a student retention rate is very low. The dropout rate is very high globally. Statistically, it shows that when initially students start IB program and at the end, the dropout rate is very high. So retention is an issue for IB program. 
when it comes to the higher study meaning university study ib program is barely recognized by globally ranked university uh, some university does recognize but majority of the cases they ask for example english proficiency and they go for some preparatory courses before the program in university so this is a real issue and the student lost their years which is called preparatory year for the student on the other hand ussd does not have sas requirement by any university around the globe so they can directly go to the university program so this is what i have for today when it comes to the comparison between the ussd and ib program i think i believe you have a very good understanding now in the program between ussd and the ib program with this i wanted to conclude my presentation here and i thank you very much in this ramadan you as an individual watching from different parts of the world Uh, this program is designed only for you to benefit you and your children we will thank you again stay safe have a wonderful day bye